Hey there, this is Sia with Black Idol Gardening. I am in zone 8B here in Oregon, and today we're doing a very quick update on where things are with our seeds, our seed starting. And I'm gonna say it's a mixed bag. Down below here, you can see we've got some new items. Um, there is a video that's either gonna be coming out or has already come out about our experience with that. What I wanna focus on are our old guys. And one of the biggest problems that I have is I think I started my tomatoes too early. That and I think our spring has been unexpectedly cool. Though I think as a general rule, you figure you probably don't want to um, plant out tomatoes until May anyway. So regardless, I, I planted those probably a couple weeks too early, I would say. Um, and so now they are getting a little too large for the area and I actually already had to pinch off a few flowers because um, I definitely don't want them to flower in here so hopefully I can get them to hold on until at least the first week of May and I say hold on because you know looking at some of these they are not looking in the best of shape leaves are, you know, there goes that, um, discolored, and I don't know, is it overwatering? Is it underwatering? I can't imagine that it's overwatering, I mean underwatering, because I swear I feel like I'm watering a lot, which may be the part of the problem. Uh, oops, there goes another one. I, I don't know. I know that they're pretty resilient, so my hope is once we get to a point where I can start hardening them off and ultimately put them in the ground, I can plant them even deeper, you know, maybe about to here on these tall ones. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. About to here on these tall ones um, so that they have additional opportunity to grow new roots and things like that and hopefully be able to take off when we're looking at some of these other ones over here they're very kind of limply and like this brad's atomic i'm not sure if you can see it very well but i mean look at those leaves they're so crinkly and little i mean i have that same problem over here with the spoon tomatoes I'm not entirely sure why these these struggled. They struggled mightily in in their early setting up. They've they've grown some now, but I have a feeling they're going to be stunted. And maybe the answer is I just need to give up and start over with them. But I kind of hate to give up on them. And I'll be honest, we have a, a lot of tomatoes, so if they actually do grow, um, I'm, it's not like we're hurting for them. Um, you know, some of these, you know, this is lost. I don't know what I, oh, there they are. It's kind of floppy. So, yeah, hopefully they'll last another two weeks or so. And then I can get them out into the garden and maybe that'll be all the difference. Um, on the other hand, I do have, you know, peppers that seem to be doing okay. The cilantro is growing pretty well. I think they, they were getting... Oh, well. <sighs> okay. I think they were getting a little bit shaded out from the tomatoes and other things that, that were growing up tall. Um, I'm a little concerned about those. Oh, actually, I don't think, never mind, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, when I was reading on them, it said that cilantro does not like its roots disturbed. So I'm glad that they are in those kind of cardboard pots because then I can just leave them in there and plant that into the ground. All right. Here's some more peppers. Seem to be doing okay. 
Um, I've got dill, which has fallen all over the place. And dill, I guess, is another one that doesn't necessarily enjoy being messed around with. So again, good that they're in these pots and I can just cut that out and put it into the ground where, where, where they're going to go. Um, we've got some calendula here. This one's looking a little bit anemic. This one seems like it's decent. Um, our marjoram back here seems to be okay. Hopefully it will transplant all right, especially being in the cardboard things. You know, here's my nasturtium. <laughs> and it's, it seems to be going gangbusters. But it's also got a fair amount of yellow flowers. I mean, the yellow leaves. And when I looked it up, it said yellow leaves are often because they, are un they need water. They're underwatered. But again, I can't, I can't figure how that's possible because I have been pretty diligent about watering them. And as we can see, I mean, the, it's the soil, it's pretty wet. The pots themselves, you can see, I don't know, well, maybe you can't see. Go this way, have clearly had a lot of water. So I don't know. This is this has been it's been an, an education. Now getting down here, I ended up actually cutting cutting these out of the areas that they were um, connected to before. I want to say a couple of them were matched up with the. Um, peppers right here, and mm, I don't remember where else these things were were attached, but these are supposed to be cabbages, and you know, if I feel these, these are very limp, um, not strong at all. I don't know if they'll bounce back. But I think now is around the time where we should be okay to plant them. Um, I mean, we've got this one. This, this one's a little bit stronger looking, as is this one over here. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. So it may just be these two that are sad and unfortunate. Um, if they survive, I will still plant them out just to see what happens. Um, here we've got our Brussels sprouts, which seem to be doing it. I don't know if you can see them really well. But again, I think I need to be getting them actually into the garden. So I'm trying to get them hardened off. And that was one of the reasons why I wanted to actually separate them out because getting these hardened off, I need to do that at a different time than hardening all of these off. And I don't know if my attempt to um, do the hardening off while these were all involved may account for some of the issues that, that we're having with some of these plants now. But, yeah, so I would say I'm giving myself a C as far as a grade because they're alive. They seem like most of them might survive, um, but their level of healthiness is suspect in many cases. And I would say it's definitely been a learning experience. So, anyway, that's, that's where we are. I will be doing another row, uh, round of seed starting. This time it's going to be flowers. And as you can see here in these cups, um, we have another group 
of seeds that we've just put together. These ones are also tomatoes. So hopefully what I've learned I can apply and end up with an even better result. So thank you for coming along as I do my update on the good, bad, and the ugly for my really, I guess I'm going to call it inaugural seed starting uh, attempt. Love to see you here again, so please consider subscribing. And if you have any suggestions, comments, thing, you know, things that we did wrong, things we can do better, we'll see you in the comments and uh, be interested to, to get your perspective. Alrighty, well I hope you have a marvelous day and until next time, Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.